Hey team, Dustin Mansell here, and today we're gonna go over how to make your manual payments look really, really cool, and how you can make your links clickable, and just how to how to really dial it in. So um, th through this training, just go ahead and get a pen and paper out. You can pause it whenever you want to. You can rewind it whenever you want to. You can restart it whenever you want to. But we're gonna go over how to make your back office, your payments, look really, really cool. So when people come and join you and they're ready to pay you, it's gonna have them do it pretty quickly. So. Let's go ahead and get into it. So in training here, uh, if you were to click on training, this is going to take you to uh, your training back office. Now, in your training back office, you'll see how to add code to your manual payments. Well, there's going to be a video here, which will be this video, so it's not selected yet. But for right now, you could also hit the code. So when you hit the code, this is going to pop up right here, which will be a Word doc that will give you the code of what to use. Now, a lot of people go, oh, my goodness, I don't know what to do. I was the same way, but it's this easy, okay? Go ahead and just copy it and open up, and it's in the description of this. You can click it too. It's called htmlcodeeditor.com. You open that up, and then you could paste that code in there. And what'll happen is, it's over here in the preview. It'll show you exactly how it's going to look when somebody comes in underneath you. Now, obviously, you don't want to use my information because then they would pay me, and that's not what we want here. We want them to pay you. So you're going to start very easily. So on the credit card, if you use Stripe to accept your payments, right, you can get a link with Stripe. So what you would do is on products, you would go ahead and hit add a product, and then you would go and put your name would be ALN. Um, um, let me see what's a good one here. What did I use first? ALN, there we go, $50 ALN fee. We won't even put the $50, we'll do this. ALN fee, right? And in the description, you can put $50 ALN fee. All right, now standard pricing, it's $50. It is not recurring, it's one time. And uh, you can add other options if you want to the description. I wouldn't do any of that. You can upload an image if you like. I already have one uploaded for my company, so I don't need to. But then you would hit Save Product. Okay. Now, once it becomes a Save Product here, you'll see that you can create a payment link. So you create a payment link here. This will give you a preview of what it's going to look like. Very easy. Um, you can collect the customer's address if you'd like to. Um, there's a, a couple different things you could do. Then you create the link. So when you create that, you'll see it comes right here. You click and copy it. So it's copied to the, to the board. Then you would come right in here and you would highlight the current link that's in here. Now with right inside those little thingamajiggies here. All right. So that I'm not sure what that thing's called or what that thing's called. But it has to be right inside. And then you would paste in your new link. And then now that link you could go ahead and test it. It's all live. You go over here and you could click the payment credit card. And if it opens up and it looks like it's supposed to, which mine does, it says ALN fee, $50. Great. It looks good, right? So then over here, you're going to want to go down to the next one, which is Cash App. If, you're taking ca if you accept Cash App, then you're going to want to come in here and, and change this um, Cash App name to yours, right? And you're also going to want to put that same Cash App name right at the end right here. So that way it gets paid to you. And this is clickable. So you come over here. You click it, you'll see it open up to a cash app, and they can pay you directly $50. Pretty slick stuff. Now, if this thing didn't work, uh, it would look something like this when they clicked it. It would go, and it just wouldn't go anywhere. They wouldn't know what to do. Okay, so you want to click it to make sure that it works. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in here. The P back in there, and I'll hit the cat, get it again. Look at it, it works perfectly, right? Now down here. Venmo, if you want to accept Venmo, then come in here and put your Venmo name in here. Uh, Bitcoin, if you want to accept Bitcoin, put Bitcoin and put your Bitcoin address in here. Um, if you want to accept more or take it away, uh, let's just say you wanted to add PayPal to it. You would go right here and then you would click PayPal. Or you would put PayPal. And then you'd put your PayPal email, whatever or however you get paid with, pay, with the PayPal email, all right? in here and you'll see that it goes live right here now let's say you go well i want to do a clickable link for something else well that's easy you come over here and just copy these guys right here copy this one 
scroll down here and paste that in here. And then now you have something else that's clickable. Now say you didn't want to say credit card, you want it to say clickable, which you would never want to say clickable. I just want to put that on here so you can see it live. Clickable. And then you would put whatever you want in here that you wanted it to go to. So I'm gonna say text ALN.com is what I'm gonna do. So then right here, I would come over, clickable, click this, boom, it would go to text ALN.com, right? Now notice how this says click here to pay with credit card. You would then change this right here. Click here to go to text ALN. Now you would never do this. I'm just using this right now as as an example. Like if you wanted to, I'm not sure if PayPal has a clickable link. I'm not sure anything other way that you get paid is a clickable link. Um, if you wanted to add your address in here, <clears throat> you could too. You know, send a check to here. Send check to this address. You can put your address in here, 11122, Soha Street, LV, NV89123. You can see all this right here will go in there, right? Make it payable to yada, yada, yada. But you can see exactly how it all looks over here in the preview right here. Now, let's say that everything's set up how you want it. This is how you want it to look. Then you would simply just come over here and copy this now. You would copy this. You would go to your back office, text ALN. You'd go to my account. You go to payment setup. You click on manual. And then you would go in here and paste this bad boy. Boom. You paste it. You'd hit save changes. And now when anybody goes underneath you, when everybody signs up underneath you, it'll look exactly like this from how to pay. So that's as easy as it is in the description. There's a link of um, to get the code. There's also a link to um, um, a link. So there's a link to get the code and there's a link for anything else that you may need to get this started in the description of your back office. Hope this helps and we'll talk soon.